I'm Amelia Berry and I'm playing Joanna in Sweeney Todd. Joanna is a young girl, she's 16 years old. She's the daughter of Sweeney Todd, but she doesn't know this. He was sent away when she was a baby and she was taken in by Judge Turpin. So for the last 15 years, she's been pretty much locked up in his house where she's his ward. So, you know, she's been trapped basically her whole life and has this kind of lecherous guy always, you know, coming on to her. I hope always to be obedient to your commands. Dear child, how sweet you look in that light. You must be down. She's young and innocent, but she's also kind of a little bit crazy after that kind of have been having that treatment her whole life. She's just not really quite with it. She doesn't really have much of her own. She's got, you know, like no possessions except for some old thing that her mother gave her. You know, she doesn't have anything like that. So when Anthony comes along and kind of shows her that she could have this freedom, I think he really brings out, you know, the boldness and the strength in her. But then it all goes wrong and she gets committed to the asylum. And so I think that's where we see her at her lowest point mentally and in terms of her status. She's got no control over what's happening to her life. You know, at the beginning, I really wanted to show, you know, the young, innocent, sweet girl, you know, kind of like the, the perfect girl sitting in the tower, singing to the birds, you know, the boys fall in love with her. So I've tried to keep my movements, you know, soft and graceful and slow. But as the story progresses and we see a little bit more of her real mental state, um, you know, I've tried to bring in some more fragmented movements, especially to punctuate all the new ideas. For me personally, I find the way that the stage is set up is really useful for me in, in terms of, you know, creating that kind of trapped, caged bird kind of feeling. I'm always up high, I'm always on a balcony, but there are always sort of bars or, you know, things around, so I, I'm, I'm not able to move around very much up there. So the whole time that I'm on stage, I'm kind of surrounded by either people or walls or bars and things like that, so that's really helpful for me because I can't you know, move much. Yeah, so it's kind of, you know, a reflection of the mental state as well. <laughs> 